Hello everyone, welcome to the newest iHealth lecture. And in this video, we're gonna be teaching you exactly all the keyboard shortcuts on your MacBook that you need to know. So, it's, before we start, it's important to know that we, these are shortcuts for Mac OS Big Sur. A lot of them will be the same, but some will be still, still be different. So, with that being said, let's get started. First is Command N. That is new finder window. Second, command new finder window tab, command T. Okay. Next, open new search window. So that's control, command, and the space bar, all at the same time. Okay, the next is command F. That's command find. Okay, new folder, shift, command, N. Command I is get file info. You have to be in a file to use this command though. Next, option, sorry, control, command, I. This is show file inspector. And by the way, I'm reading this off of a document. So we'll put this in the links down below for you to look at. Next is go move to airdrop. I mean, move to trash. Command delete. And it's important to know that all of these are, you have to press at the same time for them to work. Okay. Go to airdrop, shift command R. Okay. Empty trash, shift, command, delete. Be careful when you're emptying your trash because once you empty it, there's no getting that stuff back. Unless it's backed up to a hard drive. Okay, so then you have command, tab. That's app switching. Let's take a look at that. So you can see my screen. I'm gonna do command, tab. It'll bring up this screen. You'll have all your open apps. And if you're on, let, I'm gonna go onto something on my iPad. So once I'm on my iPad, it'll come up as Joshua's iPad from iPad. Okay, so if you wanna do that, you just press enter and it has what we're reading. And you can go to anything you want. You can go to, you can even go to Finder. And the way that you do this is just by press doing this command and then pressing the tab continuously. And pressing the tab button as many times as you can. And it'll bring you between apps. All the while, holding the command button. Okay, so there's also view mission control, swipe up. This one's actually very helpful. You can use this for many, in many situations. You can use this to, and you can also go down if you're not in full screen to see all, to see your main screen. So let's say I am there, it'll go down. So this is very helpful because if you wanna to get to a different app very fast, you can just go like this or a different desktop, okay? And you can also do this by just pressing F3. That'll also bring you there, just by pressing F3. Okay, now that you know how to do that, Let's teach you how to switch between desktops fast. So, to do this, you're gonna need to go on, on your mouse or on your trackpad like this. If you're on a magic mouse, you take two fingers and go like that over the top, depending on which way you wanna go. So, I, I think I want to go over here. So, I just use my hand gesture like this on the trackpad and it moves with me. But you have to have this turned on in settings. Let me show you how to turn that on. So, to turn that on, all you have to do is go to trackpad. Okay, now that I'm in trackpad, I can show you. So in trackpad, there are all these things. I have everything on. I have click on the medium and tracking speed all the way up because I like, because I like my trackpad super fast. Scroll and zoom and more gestures. 
Notification Center is an amazing way to, to go to, to see your most recent notifications. I can't do that because it's actually pretty private, depending on what you have there. And in macOS Big Sur, it's even more exciting because you get to have widgets. So, show desktop. Swipe up. Swipe up and away with three fingers. Just like this. Just like that. And for even more fun, if you need more help, sorry, you can also you can also go to the keyboard menu and press and then make it so that when you press the control button, it shows desktop, just like this. It's great for if you want to hide something super fast or just show your desktop. Okay, and it sometimes it's pretty fun just to play around with, to see how the apps just go away. And see these black borders around the side once you go into that menu mode right there? And then as soon as you press it, they go away. If you press, those are there so that if you press them, it brings you back. So, let's zoom back out. Okay. Um, so the next one is actually um, Command Q. A lot of you might have heard of this. Command Q is an amazing way to close your apps efficiently and fast. Let's example on settings. Command Q, it closed. It doesn't work on Finder because Finder isn't an app. It runs your whole entire map. So, since I did that on Finder, why don't we see what happens when you do it on something else? Like Photos. It works the exact same. It just goes to the, your other, and then it just goes to your other desktops. That's amazing. Now let's talk about some more. Okay, screen capturing. Command Shift 3 is to take a screenshot. Let me show you how it works. When you do Command Shift 3, it'll make that sound. You click it when it comes up in this corner. Then it'll come up with this. You, you have all these options up here. I can do this, I can crop it, I can rotate it, change text, I can do all sorts of things. This is amazing. Okay, and with that being said, that's how you use it. So, let's talk about just a few more. Reload. Reload page is an amazing way to reload all your pages if something bad happens. So, as you can see, we're in YouTube Studio. So we have 31 subscribers and all of these channel analytics. Remember this, 14 views. If that goes up when I reload it, that means it's successfully reloaded. And if it doesn't go up, well, we didn't get any new views on that video. See, and then it just reloads like normal. Okay, still at 14 views. And then you just have all these different things. So that's amazing. And that's just the fastest way to switch between all your apps. Okay, hide slash show doc, show doc. Command, oh, this one's gonna be a little tricky for me. Control, command, and D, all at the same time. Control, command, D, okay? And if you hold it, if you hold, a really fun fact, if you hold the, uh, the control key, if you have this set up in your keyboard preferences, it'll go here, keep holding it, and you'll see this. Display a menu. Click that with your mouse or trackpad. And it'll come up with all this. That's just so cool and efficient. If you haven't seen our How Do You Stacks video on Mac OS Big Sur, be sure to click the I card on the screen. So that's all the keyboard shortcuts that you need to know. And before we just say, and before we just talk, just end the video, I just would like to say that we ha now have an editor and he will be helping us a lot, making the quality of our videos even better. So if you're excited for, uh, for our new, vi new videos with even better quality than they were before, hit the smash button and subscribe for even more amazing content just like this video and if you have any further questions put them in the comment section below or email us at ihelpcanhelp at gmail.com here's our email ihelpcanhelp at gmail.com 
that's all you have to do. And we'll answer and we'll answer all your questions there. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Bye.